Hello, welcome to Stream or Not to Stream. My name is Gabby and today I'm going to be reviewing the new Netflix series, Hentified. Hentified premiered on Netflix on February 21st, 2020. There are 10 episodes in the first season and they're each 30 minutes each. So, who stars in the show? Joaquin Cosio plays Pop. Carlos Santos plays Pop's grandson, Chris Morales. JJ Soria plays Eric Morales, Pop's other grandson. And Carrie Martin plays Anna Morales, Pop's granddaughter. The show is a mix of familiar faces and new faces. Also, you'll definitely recognize some of the guest stars, which include Wilma Valderrama and America Ferreira, who also direct some of the episodes. So what is the show about? The show follows a Mexican-American family that owns a family taco shop called Mama Fina's, located in Boyle Heights, Los Angeles. Pop is having trouble paying the shop's rent. His three grandkids come together to help him try to save the shop. His three grandkids include Chris, who is a chef at an upscale restaurant, Anna, an upcoming artist, and Eric, an employee at Mama Fina's, who also has a baby on the way. We follow the family as they are faced with gentrification, personal drama, and trying to keep the business alive. So what did I like about the show? There's so much. First off, the Latinx representation. I'm so proud that we have this beautiful and honest show that does not reduce us to stereotypes. Many shows can fall victim to relying on stereotypes and diminishing the stories of the Latinx community. Hentified does justice to the Latinx community by creating multidimensional and complex characters that are more than what meets the eye. I hope that Netflix continues to offer titles like this in the future. Another thing I liked about the show was Anna Morales' character. She's unapologetic and has great style. I was obsessed with her outfits, her earrings, her makeup. I wanted it all, and she was really badass. This show covered so many themes. First off, identity. Chris constantly is trying to prove his Latinidad to others. Another theme is art. Anna uses art to fight racism, to celebrate queer love, and use art as a form of healing and self-expression. Another theme is family. The Morales family learns what it means to sacrifice for one another. They butt head at times and they're not perfect, but no family is. Another issue is gentrification. The title of the show is a play on the word gentrification. There's gentrification happening in so many of our communities and in this show we're following the Morales family as they're trying to deal with others trying to take over and disrupt their community. Another theme in the show is generational differences. A lot of the younger characters don't always see eye to eye with their elders and that can cause a lot of drama. Another theme is morals. The Morales family wants to save their business but also face an internal dilemma because they want the restaurant to do well and appeal to millennials, which means compromising some of the restaurant's authenticity at times. Something else that I appreciate is that the show doesn't shy away from issues such as racism and microaggressions that are perpetuated by those who are racist, ignorant, and closed-minded. So where does the show fall short? I really wish that we had more of the character Jessica. You may recognize her as Julissa, who used to be on BuzzFeed's Better Like. She's a great actress and I really wish we had more of her throughout the season. Without spoiling anything, I wanted to know more about the family tree, specifically the grandkids' parents. Lastly, and selfishly, I really wish there were more episodes. It's such a good show. So what would I rate this show? I'd give this show 4.25 Mama Fina Shops out of 5. It's a beautiful story and it has something for everyone. Comedy, drama, romance, everything. Also, it's a quick watch. I finished it in about two days. I also hope that Netflix picks it up for another season. If you enjoyed watching Hentified, I also have other similar titles that you might like too. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review and I'll be back soon with more.